All right, guys, so as promised, here's a part two of my entire case knife collection. This is a, a continuation of my 1,000 subscriber special. Um, like I said in the other video, I'm just an amateur. I've got a phone with limited storage, and so it actually cut off on me again. But went ahead and uploaded it, and I'm fixing to uh, continue on. And this is um, probably not going to take quite as long as yesterday, so we should be good. But... Um, I do know that the video kind of cut off while I was talking about this knife here. So like I say, this is a uh, pocket worn whiskey bone mini trapper. This knife has a CV blades as they all do. Um, and I said it in the last video, but your mini trappers also have half stops. So a lot of people like that about them. All right, here's my last mini trapper. This is a nice synthetic green handle. This one has uh, uh, stainless steel blades. Another great knife. My father actually picked me this one up the last time they went through uh, Tennessee at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of get into the bread and butter of my collection. This is gonna be uh, the kind of knives that I actually concentrate on when I'm uh, thinking about collecting. So I'm gonna go through my copper lock collection now. I've got several of these. Um, I, I traded a couple off. Um, one of the ones I traded, I got a, I traded for another copper lock. And then the one I traded the other day, I got that green um, back pocket. But here's a nice blue one. I believe this one's to be about a 2000 model. This is a blue uh, Rogers jig bone. All of these full size copper locks that I have are uh, stainless steel. This is obviously the clip point version. You've got the clip point and some of them have a Warncliffe. All right. Here is a sort of a grail knife um, that I started with. Um, this one here is the lizard skin. There's three of these knives in this set. Um, You've got the lizard skin, the snake skin, and the pig skin. And I've got the uh, lizard skin and the snake skin. Here's the snake skin. I got this one from uh, Randy, George Adventure. He bought this one off eBay and uh, we got talking about it and I was telling him how that was a, a color that I had been looking for. And uh, out of the generosity and, and everything, he decided to just send this one to me. And uh, I couldn't let him just send it to me, so I turned around and sent him an orange one because I know he's a big fan of orange. But here's the snake skin. You don't see these too often. So uh, this is uh, two of the three that I need. I need the pig skin. It's kind of a burnt orange. This one here is a uh, Harvest Orange. This was the first case knife that I actually bought. Uh, kind of got me into collecting a few years ago. This one's pocket worn. Just a really pretty orange handle. They make a Warncliffe in this same handle. I need to pick that one up so I kind of have the pair. This one here is a clip point as you can see. Here's one that's pretty special. Um, this is a uh, Case Collectors Club Life Member um, Copper Lock. It's serialized. You can see on the bolster. Um, I'm not in the uh, I'm not in the Case Collectors Club. Um, it'd be neat to be in that club. I just haven't ever um, gone through the steps to get there. But this knife would have been something that they would have offered to those guys. I just happened to find this one on eBay. Got a pretty good price on it. And um, this one here is the Warncliffe, as I was talking about a second ago. That Warncliffe may not be everybody's cup of tea for you know everyday use, but there's no denying the great looks of it. And the bone handle on this knife is just really something. I cleaned a few of these up the other night watching football, and this is one of them I cleaned up. So it's, it's looking pretty good. All right. Moving on. This one here was kind of a grail knife when I went looking for it. Um, this is a purple haze. 
you don't see these too often either. Um, this knife right here holds the title for the most expensive knife that I've ever purchased. Um, I gave $90 for this one. I think it was a birthday gift a few years ago. Um, and even at $90, this was about, it was about $30 less than uh, any of the other ones I'd ever seen because most of the ones I saw like this were in about $125, $135 range. Um, kind of humid in here. I don't know why these knives are fogging up like that, but just a nice purple color. It's dark. Got the arrowhead shield, another Warncliffe blade. All right, moving on. Here's a nice um, hunter grain saw cut. This is one I cleaned up to, got it polished up. The saw cut's really nice on this one. The color's really nice. Blades right down the center. Just a really well-built one here. Uh, I got this one at, the, at an outdoor flea market that I like to go to. Um, the guy has some pretty neat stuff. Usually every time I go down there, he has something that catches my eye. And I got this one for about $40 if I remember right. And that's, that's about half price of what you'll find them on eBay for typically. All right, last copper lock. This one here is uh, technically a burnt indigo. Although I've spoken on this before, um, a lot of your burnt indigos are kind of brown towards the end and they even go from like brown to green to blue. This particular knife just didn't get a lot of that characteristic. It's just mostly blue. Um, but with that being said, I kind of like the way it looks. It's just a nice, pretty royal blue color. Um, you can see on the end where they kind of attempted to do a little something with it, but it that's the uniqueness of a case knife. No two knives are the same. So there you go. That was uh, my um, burnt indigo uh, copper lock right there, which I don't usually refer to it like that because, like I said, it doesn't look like what you would see in a, in a photo if you searched for a burnt indigo knife. All right, now I'm going to get into my full-size trappers. This, um, this little area of the collection is the biggest. I've got more full-size trappers than anything else. Um, and I guess it's just because they're so common, and I've always been able to buy these knives at a pretty good price, typically on eBay. Um, some of them I've gotten for just really good deals. Um, this is a molasses bone. Uh, it's kind of a molasses barn board, I believe is what they call that. I know it's molasses. If I'm getting the jigging name wrong, I apologize, but it's just kind of got those long horizontal lines going down the handle. With the uh, saw cut, you're liable to get the lines going in different directions from one side to the other or from one knife to the other. But with this barn board, it's always running along with a handle. But you can see this one here. It's kind of got a unique shield. I've got another one that's got this same shield. It's just got a different color handle. But um, this one here was a gift from my mother-in-law. She would always ask me to find a knife and uh, on eBay or wherever, sometimes Amazon. And, and she'd ask me to find one for a Christmas or birthday or some kind of occasion. And then she'd buy it and give it to me. So I, I cherish a lot of these for that reason. This one here is nice. Moving along here, I've got a, uh, like a hunter green. It's really dark. It's almost hard to tell what color it is. Um, when you get it in the light, in the sunlight, you can really see the green come out. But this one here has slanted bolsters, as you see. And this is the only knife, uh, case knife I have with slanted bolsters. It's also the only knife I have with the bomb shield. So this one here is kind of a standout in the collection. When I got this knife, it actually came with a nice leather um, scout carry sheath and uh, I priced the sheath and the sheath was worth what I get for the whole the whole package another stainless steel blade here uh, here's the black one that I mentioned that I had with that same shield as the molasses you can see it's got the same jigging um, I've got the box to this one and it simply says Black Trapper. They, they didn't get crazy with the name on this one. Uh, the box just says Black Trapper. So 
but yeah this one i got for a pretty good deal all of these i got for a good deal uh, most of these were purchased because i saw them on ebay and and they were priced so low they were kind of hard to not grab but um i also love the full size trapper as you know i've talked about it a lot it's a really good size for me to uh carry every day and i do like the blade blade uh, choices in these knives so there's the black barn board all right here's a special one this one came from my in-laws as well they got me this one for christmas um this is a smooth bone with the pheasant etch and the shotgun shell shield which is really what sets this one off um this is part of a sportsman series as you can see there from the clip point blade um this uh, the smooth bone is really nice. If you if you have never you know handled one of these in person, you might look at a picture of one of these and not think it's all that special. But there's just something about the smooth covers on these knives. The transitions are always great, and when you get one in hand, it's uh, it's just a really classy knife. So this one here is really special as well. here's what i got um i mentioned earlier when i was talking about my um cranberry stockman um and i mentioned i had a trapper with the same covers and same shield well this is it um i got this knife for father's day this this last year and um like i said before some of these cranberry bone knives are really faded almost kind of pink this one here has more of a, a dark plum color purple red dark red and uh, like I say, I just love that classy uh, Case XX uh, script inlay. But yeah, this one here just, it's a real photogenic knife. I've taken pictures of this one that I just thought turned out awesome. Really, really glad to have this one. Love the colors, it pairs up nicely with that trapper. Moving right along, another script shield here. This knife right here, um, I actually got for like $35. And um, I've always joked when I talked about this knife, this was the, the quickest uh, no thinking involved purchase that I ever made in the knife uh, collecting hobby because I had seen these. This is goldenrod bone, by the way. This is a 2012 uh, exclusive. They didn't make these any other year. Um, you can get these in several patterns. I've seen canoes and copper locks and they're always expensive. Uh, a knife that I'm constantly on the lookout for is an affordable copper lock in this color and I haven't found one yet. They're always 130, 150 bucks. I found this one here, this trapper, uh, in great condition for $35. So clearly the seller didn't really know what they had. I saw it for 35, snatched it up been happy with it ever since just a really pretty color love the shield all right here's another uh script inlay a little bit different style this one has the same style inlay as the um large saddle horn i showed in the previous video they call this one antique bone so it's uh it's it fades from black to kind of a, a dark almost a greenish yellow these uh, covers match up pretty well on this knife. Covers are pretty much the same on both sides. This one's got the more of a manuscript style lettering. This knife put together very well. I think I gave about 50 for this one. Still a great price, you know, these usually run up. Anything with a script shield usually runs you up $75 or more. But that's what I'm telling you guys about buying on eBay. You just, you just get on there you put a really vague uh, search in and you see what comes up. You just never know what you'll find. Here's an orange trapper. This is actually a uh, trapper commemorating the turn of the millennium. If you can see there, it says case 2000. You got a little tiny USA there at the bottom. And I'll open this one up and show you the blade, uh, the tang stamp because it's a little different. They they did away with the x's and dots and they just put a case 2000 down there so when i saw this one i knew it was a little bit special and i got a great deal on this one too you know that's just how i am i haven't overpaid for any of these um 
just real patient and you just eventually you'll find some nice stuff but yeah pretty un, pretty nice orange millennium edition now here's one i picked up um back in the spring i think i got fifty dollars in this one this one's special because it is a uh sorry about that full-size trapper with a secondary worn cliff blade so for all you spade blade haters out there, you know who you are. You can, in fact, get you a full-size trapper that does not have a spade blade. This one here, um, I was pretty tickled when I got it because I got a pretty good price on it, and it is put together very well. Very, very well. The action on these blades is phenomenal. The bone looks great. And like I said a second ago, these uh, smooth bone knives, they always seem to be put together really well. Transitions are flawless. The shield transition flawless. All the pins are flush. Really happy with this one. All right. Next one here. I got a, a blue uh, trapper here with the American flag shield. Just a nice blue. Kind of has some of that fade towards the ends and on the edges. Really nice uh, example there. Here's a Caribbean blue saw cut. You can see the saw cut right there a little bit. There, both sides look pretty good. Really pretty blue on this one. Here's one that gets carried. Uh, this is a uh, chrome vanadium. I take that back. This is a uh, the new carbon steel, similar to a 1095. There's a few differences as I pointed out in one video. Um, but yeah, this is a work knife. We got these for $25. Me and a bunch of the other guys, I found these on eBay for 25 bucks. Brand new, never been used in the box. Everything, paperwork, tissue paper, $25. I bought one. I realized they had others and uh, told all my friends about it. And I think we all bought the lady out. I think we bought every one she had. Uh, but yeah, that one there, I, I carried a good bit. It's a good work knife. Here's another work knife, amber bone. Pretty classic uh, case knife right here. This one has CV blades. Here's one that's a little special. This is a buffalo horn. Got a good deal on this one out at the flea market. I don't think the guy realized this was buffalo horn. Uh, asked him what he wanted for it. He told me 40 bucks. These are about 125 on eBay. So, you know. Hate to do it to him, but he let this one go a little bit cheap. Here's my large whiskey bone trapper. Uh, this one also gets carried. It's got CV blades, really good work knife. This is one of those knives that I just sort of uh, connected with. Um, just something about this knife makes me want to pick it up and take it with me. And uh, you know, some knives you connect with, some knives you don't, but this one here definitely, um, I definitely enjoy this one. Here's one that I bought that I kind of done some customizing on. I got this one cheap enough that I was um, willing to do some modification, put some jimping on the blade here. And uh, this knife here was pretty much all this color and I sort of just took it to work and hit it kind of lightly with a torch. And if y'all ever get the hankering to do that, you got to really be careful. These things get really hot in a hurry and you can crack the bone. I did that to a cheaper knife um, and I messed the bone up a little bit. So I was a little more careful when it came to this one. But I did hit that with the torch and I got a little bit, a little bit more character out of it. I actually gave this one to my son, so he carries it. Here's a blue one. I see these a lot. These are pretty common, but this is a great knife. It's um, put together really well. The blade action's great. Um, it's stainless blades. It's got great snap on both blades. You got that shield there, kind of a bow tie looking shield. Case USA, there's a star there. If the camera will pick it up. And then to finish out my trappers, I've got this one here. This is the Hunter Trapper. I'll show you the blades on this when you got your typical clip point. The Hunter Trapper comes with a gut hook. And then there's actually a third blade. You actually get a saw with this knife, which is pretty neat. 
the uh, eBay seller was selling this as an equine knife, you know, the knives that have the hoof pick. But uh, I knew that the equine knives had a different style hook and they only had two blades. I knew this was something special. I got this one for like $52 and uh, this is actually a hunter trapper, which they typically bring a lot more money than 52 bucks. But a nice amber bone, these are stainless blades. This knife is put together extremely well especially considering that um it's got a whole extra set of uh, liners and another back spring you can't find a gap in this knife anywhere this is one i definitely take when we go hiking or camping all right guys i'm down to my last three um these are my big lock backs this one here inherited from the father-in-law and this one's pretty cool because this one was made the year i was born this is a 1985, kind of a classic black synthetic 59 lockback. Then I've got this one here. I showed this in a video the other day. We did that lockback tag. Um, this is a hunting heritage collection. This is a toasted natural bone. It's got the big drop point blade. Pretty much the same knife as that one, just a different blade shape. And then this one here, which might hold the top grail spot, is a genuine stag, 59 lock back, but this is the XX Changer. It has the bird's eye pin, if you wanna call it that, this big stainless pin, and you can change the blades on this one. I have three other blades. I have the drop point, I have the clip point, which is installed. I have a um, fillet knife, which they call a utility blade. I think it looks like a fillet knife. And I have a saw for this knife as well. This one came in a leather sheath and it also came in a big display tin. So really nice. Uh, this one's actually, you might think this would be the most expensive knife, but this one, I think I got that whole set. Oh goodness. I think I got that whole set for $85. Um, so it was a little cheaper than that copper lock, but yeah, everybody seems to like this one. It's got that big giant stag on both sides. Really nice looking knife definitely probably the the top grail knife in my collection for now so that's it guys um i just want to thank y'all for all the subscriptions i uh, got to that thousand mark and now i'm actually at like 1140 um i appreciate all y'all big j uh richter knives george adventure jo jo's ventures um rj thrifty Kniffy jersey knife guy all y'all know who you are we're just a big old community everybody's great uh kent smith can't forget him um but i appreciate y'all that was my part two of my case knife collection i think there was 71 in total and uh i'm gonna leave y'all with it hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw and uh check out all those channels i mentioned also gunslinger cal he's got a new channel uh I think it's G GR Knives is another one coming up, um, and BC Knives. Y'all check those channels out. They're young guys. They've got some good stuff, and they'll be the ones that keep this hobby going. So I appreciate all y'all, and uh, I'm going to leave you with that. Catch y'all on the next one.